and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. My name is Brendan Plays. This is NXT and the final episode of Universe Mode before the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. But this, of course, is our NXT show. Separate from the Money in the Bank, but we still have a big, big show planned indeed. Last episode was big, obviously, but this week may just be even a little bit bigger because we have a few twists and turns that I think you're going to like. Becky Lynch goes one-on-one -on -one with Asuka here tonight as we get ready to... I suppose crown a next number one contender for the women's championship. Carmella goes one on one with Bailey, so that'll be other two different women we can look forward to getting themselves in a title picture. It'll be the Hype Bros. They'll be taking on Dash and Dawson. That should be a good tag team contest there. I'll be very interested to see which team comes out there. We're going to see the debut of Angelo Dawkins, who we coming up against Baron Corbin, one on one. So that should be a good one. And speaking of debuts, Samoa Joe is in the house. He is here and he's going to make his in-ring debut. It will be against Tyler Breeze. What a match that is going to be. So Camilla versus Bailey. Bailey does pick up the victory here tonight. And our tag team contest, Dash and Dawson, pick up another big victory. The Revival doing well so far. And Angelo Dawkins gets a victory on his debut. Bit of an upset there over Baron Corbin. So here we go, our first contest here tonight. It will be Becky Lynch up against Asuka. And Becky Lynch had an opportunity for the Women's Championship at the NXT Arrival Special Event. But Becky Lynch, unfortunately, unable to eclipse the championship on that occasion. But tonight, she has a chance to bounce back. She's got a chance here to get herself back up into the top of the pecking order here in NXT for the Women's Championship. I think she's been highly touted to be one of the top divas, top women, whatever you want to call them here on NXT. And uh, she's going to have a very, very tough opponent here tonight. That is for sure. One woman who is just about ready to beat up anyone in her path. She is serious. She means business. She will hurt you. And that is Asuka. She is one dominant woman. And she is here to take over NXT. Things didn't work out her way either in the Fatal 4-Way at NXT Arrival. But I tell you what. Anybody that gets in her way, I think, could be in a lot of trouble. Asuka is so, so d difficult to beat. She's so tough. You know, think about getting kicked in the head or punched into the face. Just think about that, but think about it hurting twice as much. That's pretty much what you can expect from Asuka. She just hurts and hurts you even more than you can ever imagine. So Becky Lynch, she's going to have to try and tough it out here tonight. She's going to have to try and survive the onslaught here by Asuka. And if she can do that, she might be able to walk away with this victory. But at the moment, it's Asuka with the dominant position here. She has the arm of Becky Lynch. And uh, she'll just shrug her away. But an early dominant start. And just showing who is boss right now. And again, with that side headlock applied to Lynch again. So Asuka with a dominant, dominant start to this one. Obviously, right now, our women's champion is Charlotte, winning the Fatal 4-Way at NXT Arrival. I don't know if that would be an upset. I mean, I thought Charlotte looked pretty good coming into the event. I think I think all four of the women look pretty good. And obviously, Bailey getting a win not too long ago, earlier on the show. I think she's going to be right there in contention again. So, it might be a case of, you know, those same women. The three of the four that were in that match may battle it out again to determine the number one contender for Charlotte's championship. So a win here tonight for one of these women. Maybe perhaps they'll face Bailey next to determine the next number one contender. And at the moment, from behind, it is Becky Lynch with the German suplex. So Lynch didn't work out too well at the start of the matchup, but she's slowly getting her way back into this one. And she needs to try and wear down Asuka here. And she's trying to do that right now. So obviously Charlotte doesn't have an opponent. We haven't really seen too much of her since becoming champion. So we'll have to wait and see how she kind of fares and... You know, who does manage to beat her perhaps might come into play. But um, I definitely think we need to look towards those three women that we saw in the Fatal 4-Way. The, the two in the match right now and Bailey, Probably one of those three will emerge as the next number one contender, like I said. So perhaps the winner of this one may take on Bailey next week or something. Or down the road whenever to determine the next number one contender. Perhaps we'll, uh, we'll get that done. So an uppercut there by Asuka on ba uh, Becky Lynch, I should say. Now from behind... And takes down Becky Lynch again with a suplex. So Becky Lynch was getting a bit of a roll on before, but now Asuka has been able to work her way back into it. And a neckbreaker. 
So nicely done there by Asuka. And now Becky Lynch needs to get back to her feet. And she's not able to do it because another neck break occurs. So she is feeling the pain right now. Delivered here by Asuka in this matchup. But back to their feet now. Becky Lynch kicks Asuka in the midsection. And another knee this time. And it all went for a spinning uh, forearm. Un unable to, to connect. And now those kicks and, and shots there by Asuka. But Becky Lynch able to launch her into the corner. And now, what has Lynch got planned now? Going to get her up to the top rope. Becky Lynch now might be thinking about something off the top. Here we go. Lynch going to set herself up for a hurricane rider off the top rope. Launching Asuka to the other side of the ring. Well, that's impressive. There's no doubt about that. But Asuka back to her feet and an uppercut there to Lynch. Lynch now has a... Asuka's going to try and pick her up and... Go for a full away slam right into the corner there. That top right hand corner of the ring. Didn't quite connect with the lower turnbuckle, luckily enough for Asuka, because that would have been a little bit of a painful landing, I would assume. Well, even a bit more painful than normal. Lynch now rolls through, now has the car. But uh, the rope, the ropes need to come into consideration, and the rope break did occur. But Lynch will get Asuka in the middle of the ring now. She's going to go for the cover now. Here we go. Trying to win this matchup. A kick out of two, though. Needs a little bit more to be done so far to Snapmare. So, a strong start here by both women. Becky Lynch now has the upper hand, obviously. But uh, they're both, at times, showing us what they can do. Showing their best. And now Asuka, and that's Snapmare. So, uh, it's a lot to like about these two. I think definitely our future NXT Women's Champions and our future Divas Champions on the main row main roster as well that's probably something we haven't mentioned too much here with our women here at NXT as Asuka well launching herself into the corner there on Lynch yeah it's probably something we haven't really mentioned too much because I think we've really just been focusing on NXT with our women and Asuka again launching but Lynch to the other side of the ring dominating her right now potential to go for cover not going to do so instead what she got planned here drops oh Thought she was going to drop the knee or the boot, but instead just a little bit of a, a heel kick. Not, nothing wrong with that. You know, just flicking the, the back of the heel. And uh, now has the choke hold. And here we go into the rear naked choke. Oh, the thought that we were talking about a moment ago. Hold it right now because Lynch is in a lot of trouble. But Asuka will break the hold and this match will continue. And now the cover. Hook of the leg. Lynch needs to try and power out. She will. So we haven't really talked about it too much, the possibility of our NXT women moving up to the main roster. You know, I think, you know, we saw the success of Sasha Banks coming through, you know, a debutante coming through to the, the main roster and taking over and doing so well there. There's a lot of possibility for one of our NXT women to do something just like that and perhaps challenge Sasha Banks in the future. Now, Lynch with the cover, kick out at one. So... I'm not sure when or how they will go about going to the main roster. I mean, is there any kind of, you know, certain qualification system? I guess it's all up to our NXT Journal Manager, Shawn Michaels. He pretty much determines when they're ready to move up and when he will put in the request. And, oh, takes down Lynch there, drags her down, does ask her. But uh, another snap there. So, I guess... If they win enough matches, perhaps come the champion. I suppose Charlotte would be the front runner to perhaps move up to the future. But, uh, you know, I think these women are very focused on controlling and trying to have a very successful NXT. A fisherman suplex there by Lynch. Now a chance to go for the cover. Can she get there? Oh, Asuka bounces up to her feet. Here we go. And Lynch is trying to crawl and get herself back up. Asuka already sprung back up. She's ready to go right now. And here we go. Clothesline. Another one there by Asuka. And oh, blocks the kick and sweeps Lynch off her feet. She is hyping herself up here. And this could be very, very bad for Becky Lynch right now. Here comes Asuka. These shots there. And now, one more big kick to the men's section. And another one. And another one connecting to the head. And here we go. Asuka to defeat Lynch here tonight on NXT. No, a near fall or two. Lynch kicking out. Keeping this one alive, but it is close. Asuka definitely has the upper hand right now. She's definitely dominating this matchup. 
And has a hold of Lynch again. And Asuka just going to go for a step suplex. Connects nicely. Obviously, the winner of this one. Such a huge momentum shift it will give them. You know, obviously, coming off that NXT Fatal 4-Way matchup at NXT Arrival. That's such a... You know, to lose that is obviously going to hurt. You know, your first big match, you definitely want to win that. So if you can bounce back here with a win here tonight, it will be huge. Asuka now from behind. And again, she's going to go for that chokehold again. She's got it in. The rear naked choke again. Asuka's got it in. Will Lynch tap this time? And no. Lynch survives. But for how long? Here we go. Hook of the leg. Is she out? Is she with it? And oh, did that was that three? Wow, that was a that was a late kick out. Well, I don't we've seen some controversy with our referees. That was as close as the three as you'll ever get. If it was not three. But Lynch is still in this matchup just barely. I think she might have regained consciousness at two and a half. Or maybe two and two and a half and realized she's got to kick out and she did it with barely a quarter of a second to go. And spinning door tornado DDT, Lynch's head landing on the top rope, bouncing off of it. And now Asuka's trying to wear her down, keep her grounded here. Well, it's been all Asuka, hasn't it, in the last couple of minutes here. It's been all her. She's just dominating this one right now. Becky Lynch from Ireland, of course. As, and uh, she's an international superstar, just like Asuka, who's from ja Japan, of course. But... None of that really means anything right now because both these women have come here to NXT and are both looking to take over and, and dominate the United States. Something they've never been able to do just yet. They've got similar paths, similar journeys. But only one of them can win this match and only one of them can become the number one contender in the future for right now. But uh, Lynch, with those elbow shots there to Asuka, she's trying everything. She's desperate, trying to get herself back into this matchup. But these kicks, these kicks are absolutely brutal and deadly by Asuka. And Lynch cannot really come back from that at all. And now Asuka again. What has she got planned here? Here we go. Speaking of, well, it wasn't a kick, but it was the knee this time. The knee right to the head. Asuka is just brutal right now. She is absolutely dominating Becky Lynch. This match might not go on for much longer unless Lynch can do something. Pull a rabbit hat out of the out of the hat to try and win this matchup. She's going to have to. She's going to have to try and do something here. Perhaps try and get the disarmor locked in and get a quick tap out or something like that. Just get a, a big move out of nowhere because right now Lynch is in real trouble. Lynch, what's she got planned now? She's on, on top of Asuka and these headbutts. Just using her own head to her own effect. Trying to wear down Asuka and probably knock her out perhaps. Those headbutts, they're brutal. Now, spoke, speaking of the disarmor, it is in right now. It is locked in. Will this be enough? No. Asuka survives. Lynch, you can see she's just struggling. She just doesn't have much left in the tank. She's already gone through a lot of damage. And Asuka kicks out. Didn't have enough in the tank to kind of keep herself going there. Try and, and, and hang on to the, uh, the arm bar to try and create the submission. She just had nothing in the tank. And she had to let go. And that might cost her right now. She's trying to pump herself up here. She's trying to get the crowd behind her to try and get herself going. Here we go. There's a couple of clotheslines. And now sweeping Asuka off her feet. Becky Lynch firing up right now. Is it too little too late though? Maybe not. Oh, Lynch again grabbing the leg, hitting the suplex now. Here we go. This is probably it. A chance now. Hooks the leg. Lynch to win. This matchup against Asuka, no, she'll kick out at two. Well, Lynch, that might be her last gasp here. She has given it everything she's got. And Asuka still keeps on going. What can Lynch do now? Asuka takes her off her feet. This is exactly the opposite of what Becky Lynch was, would have been hoping for. Now she's in a little bit of trouble. Flat on her back. Back to her feet now, thanks to Asuka. But Asuka now... Is uh, getting herself back in control, slowing this match down. And that's what she'll be wanting, just to slow this down. And try and inflict as much damage as she possibly can. Keep Lynch away. Lynch doing everything she can. Can Becky get herself back into it? 
Oscar taken down again. Lynch now going for the side headlock of her own. What you can do, I can do better perhaps. But Oscar's going to get back to her feet as she, she's up. Now these elbows into the midsection again of Becky Lynch. Oscar now. Oh, grabbed the arm and pulled it down. And that is going to hurt Becky Lynch, as you can see. She's in agonizing pain. And a swift drop kick there by Asuka. She is down now, Lynch. We spoke about it. She needed a big move. She got the disarm. It wasn't enough. And I just don't think she's got enough left right now. Asuka with these shots. All these shots to Becky Lynch. These kicks, they are brutal. And now another one right into the midsection. Knocking Becky Lynch off her feet. That might be it right there. Lynch, can she survive? Can she kick out? No, Asuka's done it. Becky Lynch just had nothing left in the tank. She tried and tried and tried to get herself back in it, but Asuka just would not let her in the end. All those kicks, those strikes right to the head. We talked about it in the pregame before this match started. How effective those kicks are, and they... Well, they'll put on show tonight, and that will be very, very effective, leading towards a victory for Asuka. Now, I guess, next week, we will probably see Bailey versus Asuka to determine the number one contender for the Women's Championship here in NXT. Will Charlotte's title reign be a short one, or will she be able to hang on for a long time? We're going to find out in the future, but right now, we need to crown ourselves a number one contender. Bailey with a victory over Carmella tonight. Asuka with a victory over Becky Lynch here tonight as well. Who do you guys think will win that matchup next week? Bailey versus Asuka, one on one. What are your early predictions? Who is going to take this matchup? Let me know in the comment section down below. If I had to pick, I mean, look at Asuka right now. She's so dominant. You know, Becky Lynch gave it her all, but just was not enough. You'd have to say she might be an early favorite to win this one, but. Bailey is certainly the type of woman to keep on fighting. She just won't go down, and she'll find a way, dig deep, to try and survive against those deadly strikes from Asuka. But uh, it's going to be a tough, tough challenge for her indeed. A bit of a mismatch indeed. But hey, a big victory here tonight for Asuka. Charlotte, be ready. This might be your next contender. We have a big matchup coming up next. We're going to see the debut of Samoa Joe. It's time for our main event. It is Tyler Breeze versus Samoa Joe. And here comes Tyler Breeze, a man that we saw in the NXT Championship Tournament. He bowed out early on, though, but he's looking to bounce back from that and show us what he can do. But he's got a tough challenge here tonight. He's got a very, very dangerous Samoa Joe. And a man, Samoa Joe, that is looking to take NXT by storm. Tyler Breeze, well, he pretty much thinks he's the most beautiful man on the planet. But his good looks won't really help him out here tonight. His good looks, in fact, might be ruined after Samoa Joe's done with him if he's not careful. So Tyler Breeze needs to be ready for this one. And I think he will be. Tyler Breeze, despite, you know, caring about his looks a little bit too much, is certainly a very, very talented in-ring competitor and can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody here. and has all the potential to be a future NXT champion in his own right. But it is going to be very, very tough for him tonight. His opponent is Samoa Joe making his in-ring debut here on NXT. We saw him debut at NXT Arrival. He took out the champ, AJ Styles. Last week on NXT, he said to the world that he is coming for the NXT Championship. Unfortunately for him, our NXT General Manager Shawn Michaels stating that Samoa Joe, well, look, he's going to have to wait his turn. He's not the next in line. Finn Balor will be getting a rematch against AJ Styles in the future after money in the bank at some point for the NXT Championship. And, well, we all know now that Hideo Itami wants a title shot as well. Samoa Joe as well. So there's going to be three other guys gunning for AJ Styles' NXT Championship. So Joe might have to try and beat all of them or he might have to just wait in line. I'm not sure, but uh, it is going to be... It's going to be tough because there's a lot of competition right now. A lot of very, very good competition. So Samoa Joe is going to have to be better than the rest. Tyler Breeze with a good start there. Drop kicking. Down goes Samoa Joe earlier on. So Joe, well, he's going to need to make a big impression, isn't he? He's going to need to really dominate this matchup and really show us that he's ready for the 
NXT Champion AJ Styles, who's preparing himself for a huge Money in the Bank ladder matchup at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. He'll be in SmackDown's Money in the Bank ladder match. Finn Balor will be in Raw's Money in the Bank ladder match. So Joe, he needs to get some victories here tonight to be prepared to take on Styles or Balor, whoever is champion in the future. Tyler Breeze and Joe on the outside right now. Tyler Breeze just trying to fend off the much bigger Samoa Joe. And Joe has the size, but uh, he can also be pretty explosive in that ring as well. The things he can do in the ring, you know, he's quite deceptive. You wouldn't really expect him to be able to perform a lot of the moves he can do. But um, he's such an ultra-talented superstar here at NXT. He's full of surprises. Tyler Breeze just trying just to just trying to throw down. He's just trying to throw rights and lefts. Use both his feet to try and fend Joe away, but it's really not working. Joe is just happy just to throw a few down himself. And it's working out so far for Joe. Breeze now launching Joe over the top rope and to the outside. Perhaps this is Tyler Breeze's strategy. A couple of times have gone out outside the ring here. Tyler Breeze might fancy himself on the outside, but a back body drop. Tyler Breeze sent flying there. This is, I think this is a dangerous territory here for Tyler Breeze. He would invite Samoa Joe to use outside objects to his advantage. I think it's only going to help Samoa Joe out. You get launched to the steel ring post, the ringside barricade, the steel steps, anything like that, launched into the crowd even. You know, it's not going to help your cause. I think, if anything, it's going to really put you at a much bigger disadvantage. Count of six now by the referee. Samoa Joe realizing, gets himself back in the ring. Tyler Breeze follows suit. Now here you go, Tyler Breeze. A little snap suplex of his own. The big Samoa Joe taken down. So good, good, uh, good sign of strength there by Tyler Breeze. And Joe again launched to the outside. Tyler Breeze going to put him out there again. Now, what is he thinking about? He's just slowly working his way around the other side of the ring where Joe is. I thought he might be looking towards something, maybe the announce table, but instead he gets met with a power bomb. Tried to go for a Hurricane Rider on Joe, but Joe caught it and turned it into a power bomb. Thunderous power bomb to the outside. Now Joe into the barricade, and again now Breeze now with a suplex taking down Joe. So that's a nice little sequence there by Tyler Breeze, and again kicking the legs of Joe trying to sweep him off his feet and does so successfully. The referee's counting again. Count of seven now by the ref. Joe's got to get himself back in there. And he will. Count of eight it was, but Joe breaks the count back in the ring he is. Now, Tyler Breeze, those big right hands there, they're working out pretty well. Tyler Breeze, what a victory this would be if he could pull off the upset here. And oh! Using the ropes to connect with the drop kick and sending Joe again to the outside. Joe just cannot stay in the ring right now. Samoa Joe looking for a dominant win here, but he's really getting met with a big fight and a really tough contest now because Tyler Breeze is really bringing it to him. And I think we've expected this. I mean, I thought Joe might be come out here all guns blazing, probably try and dominate Tyler Breeze, but Tyler Breeze is hanging in there and I think now has the upper hand. We spoke about it when Tyler Breeze was coming to the ring, how good he actually is. You know, sometimes you don't really realize how good he is. You just kind of look at the, the persona that he, you know, that he is and, and what he's all about. And you kind of look past his in-ring ability. But when he's in the ring, he is as good as there is here in NXT. So Moe Joe, I think, is realizing that, underestimating Tyler Breeze. Joe now getting met with more elbow shots. Tyler Breeze just throwing... Bombs and connects with a super kick. The right hand into the super kick. And Joe is... Oh, no. Well, this time the referee has finally seen somebody grab the ropes. Samoa Joe, well, it's a risk. I mean, honestly, grabbing the ropes is a risk here at NXT. Sometimes the referee, well, most of the time the referee just never sees it. But luckily for Joe, I think the referee was in plain sight of the hand on the ropes. And saves the day for him. Now Tyler Breeze. Oh, Try to launch himself at Joe, and Joe caught him, and now launches himself at Tyler Breeze on the ground. That may just cost Tyler Breeze. Samoa Joe was in a world of trouble, and now Joe has Breeze up top, and now here we go. This was used to lay out AJ Styles at NXT Arrival, the muscle buster, and it might be used right now to defeat Tyler Breeze.
Has Joe wasted too much time though? Can Breeze power out? It's been all Breeze and he'll get the shoulder up. Breeze somehow kicking out of the muscle buster, but to, to be fair, Joe hadn't really worked down Breeze for a while and Breeze hadn't really suffered too much damage. So the muscle buster was truly out of nowhere. And just hoping for the best for Joe. He's got to do a little bit more than go for the muscle buster to try and finish him off. Not rely on that move to perhaps go for the one, the one hit win. Joe now working down Breeze with those shots to the head using his feet to his advantage. And now Joe, uh oh, no, Tyler Breeze hits back with a leg sweep, taking Joe off his feet. Now here we go, Tyler Breeze to win this matchup, to turn things around here, and no. Samoa Joe with the right shoulder up. So Tyler Breeze has to regroup. Samoa Joe just working his way back into it. Tyler Breeze almost had the match won. Now he's going to try and get back to that position. But Samoa Joe, he realizes the tough position that he was in and how close he came to losing. And that big kick to the head of Tyler Breeze. I think Joe now is going to look to try and finish Breeze off. I think he, I think he underestimated Tyler Breeze, Samoa Joe. Now he's paying the price for it. And I think he's trying to just survive here. He's trying to backtrack, trying to, you know, work his way back into it. But it might be a little bit too late. Tyler Breeze now, high risk maneuver, looking to go to the top rope. Is this going to be a risk worth taking? Tyler Breeze off the top rope. Here we go. Launches himself. Connects with a leg drop. He connected off the top with a leg drop. But, oh, no. Breeze swept off his feet there by Samoa Joe. And now Joe, here we go from behind. There's a German suplex. Now the full Nelson. And lands were on the back of his head again. Joe now, one more time. German suplex, shoulder still down. Joe, to win this matchup, can Breeze kick out? No. Samoa Joe gets it done. Well, that was a tough fight for Joe. It was, well, honestly, that was as close as it gets. I thought Joe was out of it. Breeze almost pulling up the upset, but Samoa Joe survives. Not exactly the welcome to NXT and the, the debut Joe was looking for. I think he was looking for a dominant win just to come out here and destroy Tyler Breeze. But he had to work as hard as probably he ever will have to to win this match. A big comeback from Joe. But when you're just launching Breeze all around the ring. And, and then again, look at all that weight on the back of Tyler Breeze's neck. So difficult to kick out, and that's such a tough position. And getting suplexed two times beforehand, well, it's tough. But Tyler Breeze can't do it tonight. Samoa Joe sticks away with the win. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us again here tonight for NXT. If you did enjoy it, leave a like on the video. Next up is Money in the Bank. Keep an eye out for a video later on that will have all the details regarding the live stream for Money in the Bank. And make sure you check out the website, brendanplace.com. Check out this week's Superstar Spotlight. It is Randy Orton. Check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all at Money in the Bank.